Another direct hit. We make an impact on students here at Austin High School. Hello, I'm Jorge Redondo, the proud principal of Austin High School. We get students ready for the future with a down-to-earth education by increasing their academic achievements for college readiness, preparing them for demanding technical careers, and along the way, meeting their parents' expectations. The students come first here at Austin High School. There's an emphasis on academics with rigorous instruction from caring, effective teachers, administrators, and campus support staff. More and more students are taking advanced placement courses and dual credit classes, earning college hours along with meeting high school requirements for graduation in a timely manner. In addition, students can be part of our Teaching Profession Magnet program to become future teachers. Also, students can join our numerous career and technology programs where our students get specialized instruction to prepare them for a more demanding technical workplace. At the same time, we know that we must engage our students' personal interests with extracurricular activities such as sports, band, and fine arts, to name a few, which we know will help our students succeed at our school. Success happens here. Now we'll see and hear from some of our students. This can cause network-wide voltage regulation problems leading to blackouts or complete transformer burnout. Solar storms could take out major positions. We always have solar flares. Sometimes we have big ones, sometimes we have small ones, even the largest events that we've seen in the past. Is the most vocal and accomplished are the students on the Austin High School debate team. Under tough competition, students learn to hold their own now, which prepares them for a competitive future. My name is Emmett Luna. I'm a 12th grader and I'm in Varsity Debate. My name is Andres Manuelos. I'm also a 12th grader and then also a part of Varsity Debate here at Austin High School. Okay, well, debate has helped us a lot in our classes, outside, social life. You know, it, it has, uh, you know, things besides talking about current issues and events. We have things that help us in writing English, you know, history, other things of the sort, the same sort. I'm Mr. Dudas and I'm the debate coach here at Austin High School. Our teams are comprised of students all the way from freshmen to seniors. They compete in rigorous tournaments, at least six tournaments a year. If you're in the debate class, you're really consider one of the top students of the class or, or even the school and you learn how to argue the right way, pick a certain topic throughout the school year, be able to defend a certain position and yet to be ready to defend the position or argue against the position and to present actual evidence to support your arguments. The last thing I want to say is that we need more people in debate because we are seniors and well this is our last year. I've been in debate for two years and well Debate has been a really huge part of my high school life, and well, we need more students to join debate. Left flank, march. A lot of stuff that we do in ROTC can't be measured in math, English, but it can be measured in discipline. We teach citizenship, we teach students how to be better students. My name is uh, Eric Moreno and I'm the Lieutenant Colonel and I'm a Lieutenant Colonel and I am the Battalion Commander for the JROTC unit here at Austin High School, home of the Mighty Mustangs. Well, as you can see in the background, we're conducting an inspection as we do normally every year, so it's an annual thing, nothing new to Austin. I'm the major for our ROTC battalion. I'm the executive officer. What inspired me to be in the ROTC was the drill team. I love the drill team because I'm the commander this year. And what inspired me to still stay in ROTC was for the cadets to teach them and become better citizens. I am from the Big Box Drumline. Emerald's Dance Team and Envy Color Guard. And we're from the Sonic Boom Band. Recently won High Noon Showcase three years in a row with the Nine Foot Trophy.
my name is Kevin Lee. Uh, I'm the director of percussion at Austin, Stephen F. Austin High School. Um, music is, to me, an enhancer to the kids getting smarter. If you have music in the house, it, it stimulates brain activity. I'm Kevin Runnels. I'm the band director, drill team sponsor, color guard sponsor, and choir director. And music is is the only course in the school curriculum that incorporates every single subject. It incorporates math, history, physical education, even science, even biology. All of that, all of that, circles up and encompasses into music. And uh, uh, it has been shown in numerous studies worldwide that students who participate in music, specifically in instrumental music and dance, those students have higher test scores. They, they, they have almost a 100% graduation rate. My name is Kendra Romeo. I'm on the Emeralds dance team. Performance groups like this helps to engage students to perform better and have better grades. I'm Ron Savannah, and she's right. Performing groups like these make students realize that the grades are important. Ahoy, or hi there. It's a part of the language of the high students and here at Austin High School. We are learning and doing to prepare for a future in maritime. Shipping goods by sea, especially for here in Houston where we have a major port. And this right here, the purpose is if you lose all your electronics, if you have no other way of communicating from ship to ship or ship to shore, this is how they talk. It's Import, exporting, transportation is just a huge field now. And now people are starting to realize how maritime transportation is a unique part of that transportation. As far as young people, a lot of opportunities with jobs, a lot of career opportunities, you know, as far as engineering, deckhands, you know, offshore energy, um, you know, shipping. And it's just a, it's a great field and that young people actually can look at it and see how you know, it's a viable option, especially in your backyard next to the Port of Houston. Once we get out of here, we're going to be able to work in the maritime industry. And also, we are going to be able to get a job when we graduate from high school. And They're learning about warehousing, about distribution, transportation, uh, and how they'll work is if they go to work at the Port of Houston, they already understand some of the terminology as far as bills of lading, cargo movement, uh, docks and storage. And then along with last year when they got their OSHA and this year, these certifications will actually help them as far as acquiring the job. They'll be ahead of the game. When I graduate, I'm going to get a certificate. I'm going to get paid more than um, others who don't have the certificate. I don't have to go to other training. I'm going to be more qualified than others. And we might also get opportunities for, for scholarship and we're going to get dual credit from this club. We have a little a competition between the students to see who can tie the fastest knots. As you look on the board here, there's a list of people with the fastest times, and it's been traditionally all male. But this year, we have something different. We have a female who has a, broke the record of last year was 40 seconds. We got a female, uh, Karina Garcia, who broke the record this year. And I'll show you an example now. This is Karina. The significance of this is uh, hand-eye coordination. It also, it's for safety. It's for tying cargo, it's for tying and mooring and unmooring a ship. It is for safety, and the more they do it, the faster they come, the better they can handle themselves in emergency. This is actually uh, builds confidence because it is hands-on. How does maritime help you academically? It gives me confidence to do better in other classes. If I want to go in the Coast Guard, I think that will help me a lot. There's a lot more to Austin High School than what you've just seen. And this is what it's all about. Our students graduating, challenging them, knowing them, and working with their parents to reach common and personal goals. My Austin High School experience was really good. I learned a lot. Uh, 
this is where I found like where I want to be in the future. I met a lot of friends, a lot of teachers that helped me through high school and are willing to still help me through my college years. And it was a really good experience. Can you tell me a little bit about your Austin experience? What made it a great experience here at Austin? Uh, first of all, what made it a great experience being here is being a part of football and my friends over here, my great friends. We come here, we have fun, and then we take care of our business. We uh, get our education, you know, we stay in class. What can you say about your high school experience? It has been amazing. Oh, yeah? Yes. What, what makes it so amazing? Uh, the people. Okay. The teachers, the people, the, the different clubs and organizations, everything. Well, my future plans are to go to college and to get more educated and to pursue a higher, a higher education and just to become successful in life. Excellent. Do you think uh, you're more prepared as a result of the, what you've done here at Austin High School? Yes, I do feel like that. Together we make a positive difference, preparing our young people for college or university. Some students graduate from Austin High School with college credit already. Others earn a certification while here for a career in the workplace. Austin High School, welcome. Success happens here. Come make an impact at Austin High School.